Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use paid FSR frame generation mod in Witcher 3 Wild Hunt running on Steam Deck using SteamOS. I'll be using the mod developed by Luke FC. I've already explained its functioning and setup process in another video. I'll drop its link in the description of this video. In order to get frame generation working, the mod basically replaces FSR 2 with FSR 3. In order to obtain the mod, you need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon page. Monthly subscription costs around 6.01 US dollars. You can cancel your subscription anytime. First, I'll run the game without the mod. I'm using G Proton version 8-27 as the compatibility layer. My Steam Deck is running on Stego Steam OS version 3.5.7. Make sure game is running in DirectX 12 mode. VKD3D translation layer will be used to translate DirectX 12 calls to Vulkan. Performance tab. OLE level set to 2. I have enabled disable frame limit setting and a lot tearing setting. This is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Graphic setting. Using the low preset, FSR2 enable, set it to quality. Quickly scroll down. And these effects are enabled even with the low preset. Display settings. Resolution set to 800p, maximum FPS 120. There is Geralt, here FPS is around 40. We are hitting the GP bottleneck, I will engage in combat. I use Igni. It seems they are not interested in fighting. I will just let them be. Where is my house? There it is. It's spooked. Oh my god, where did this creature come from? Slice them. So FPS saves around 40. I'll install the mod. In order to get the best results with frame generation, you want the base FPS to be as high as possible. AMD recommends using frame generation with games running at at least 60 FPS in order to avoid latency issues. So first we need to add a launch option, just click on the settings cog, then click on properties, click on general tab here, scroll down, this is the launch option that you need to add, I'll drop it in the description, just copy it from there and paste it here. Now switch to desktop mode, we'll be using version 0.9 of Luke FC's mod, I've already downloaded all of the mod files, first we need to extract the contents of common mod files archive file, and there it is. Double click, extract all of the files. Just need to copy three files from here. Don't need the other files for Witcher 3. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Open Steam, go to your library, find Witcher 3, right click, manage, then click on browse local files. This will open the games install directory. There it is. Then you need to open bin folder. Open x64 underscore dx12 folder. Paste the files here. Overwrite in my case, if you are doing the process for the first time, should not be seeing this prompt. Witcher 3 uses FSR 2.1, so we need to download the ASF file corresponding to it. And there it is. Extract the content of the archive file. Got the ASF file, copy it. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. This is the directory. Paste. Override in my case. We are ready to run the game. Switch to Steam Gaming Mode. I was not required to enable the fake NVIDIA GPU setting to get the mod working in this game. Still using G Proton version 8-27 as the compatibility layer. DirectX 12. This window will pop up. You'll see some logs. Mod is working. Same settings as before. In order to activate frame generation, you need to enable either FSR2 or DLSS. Graphics. FSR2. I have access to DLSS as well. Low settings. Display. Enable DLSS frame generation. 800p resolution. 
Yeah, there is Carol. Check out the input response. Here we are getting around 60 FPS. Okay, so when I look at the sky, FPS increases up to 80. Frame generation is definitely working in this game. Controls do seem to be responsive. Dismount. Walk around. Not bad at all. Getting the GP bottleneck. I'll engage in combat. Let's go for a ride. Come on. Those ugly creatures are nearby. There they are. Observe the FPS counter. Here, without frame generation, we are getting around 40 FPS. Switch to Igni. Yeah, FPS is still around 60. I'll be honest, it does not feel like real 60 FPS. But definitely smoother than before. So good to see frame generation working on Steam OS. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.